Watch the past fade to black just like that. We all know that any food we consume tastes a lot better when sugar is added. That's why we have foods like cookies, yogurt, salad dressings, peanut butter, coffee, seltzers, and also baby food. And just the list keeps going on and on. White sugar is a refined carbohydrate and is technically classified as a drug. There was a cited study in the neuroscience and biobehavioral reviews that has found that sugar is a substance of abuse. It also may be addicted to those that binge on it. Sugar affects the parts of the brain that's associated with emotional control. No wonder why there is a link between emotional eating and sugar. After doing some research, I really had to question, is white sugar considered to be vegan? The answer is no. It contains bone char, which is practically animal bone. Yet, there are still plenty of restaurants that will title a dish as vegan, yet it contains white sugar. As long as no one knows, it won't hurt anyone, right? Norbert Relu invented the refining process used to make white sugar. Originally, he invented the process to help produce better minerals and metals. Unfortunately, his great invention was turned into a weapon against Blacks by becoming a health destroyer and a weapon of enslavement. Blacks were used to plant and harvest sugarcane and refine the sugar. The sugar was sold to buy slaves. The slaves in turn was sold by the pound as individual livestock or as a group in order to buy rum and or molasses that contains white sugar. Yet enslavement of sugar still exists. Sugar enslaves the internal organs of the body. Do you ever get a craving for something sweet? Sugar causes a biochemical craving for sugar and this results in psychological and sociological slavery to sugar. White sugar robs the body of minerals and vitamins, especially vitamin E, which results in tantrums, drowsiness, mood swings, hyperactivity, weakness, obesity, bone loss, mental fatigue. The common accepted belief is that white sugar calories are needed, which is in fact the propaganda of the sugar industries. White sugar is a nutrition destroyer. No wonder why sugar is so hard to give up. It's an addiction. Yet the reason that I'm telling you this today is not to alarm you and it's not to make you feel like you're doing something wrong. No, that's not the reason at all. The reason I'm telling you this is to bring awareness to you. We should know the source of everything that we put into our bodies. No matter if it's a drink, a food, a dessert, we should know everything and we should know how it's going to affect us. Wow, episode seven, time is flying. We are all on a wellness journey. It's a lifelong journey and we can't escape it unless you want to. It's all the mindset, by the way. <laughs> That's why Positive Outlet is launching the Positive Outlet Movement membership. What is included is free ebook cookbooks that are plant based with gluten free options that will be sent to you every week. Also, meal prep guides, shopping lists, daily intuitive affirmations, and free gifts from time to time. <laughs> So if you would like to be a part of this movement, please go to positiveoutlet.co. You will then be notified on December 1st of our launch. Thank you so much for listening. I'm sending you love, light, and abundance. And thank you for being the beautiful being that you are today. Bye-bye.